I had a lot of success on my mission. I had a lot of opportunities to learn and a lot of humbling experiences, which are successes because they help you to become a, a more submissive missionary, uh, including Heavenly Father every day is a big, big, big tip. Of course, of course you're going to pray in the morning. Of course you're going to pray at your meals, but just uh, making your prayers more meaningful and especially when you're including others in your prayers, when it's not just about you anymore, um, because it really, it never really is. Uh, as important as, as we all are, and as much as Heavenly Father loves us, He loves all of His children too. And we've been blessed with the gospel. We've been blessed with this, with this knowledge that our families can be together forever. And as missionaries, you get to share that every day. And so, of course, your testimony is going to strengthen. Of course, you're going to have people who don't believe you or who don't want to listen to you. Uh, but don't lose the faith and just keep trying every day and, and ask Heavenly Father to help you, to comfort you, to give you peace. And I know that He will because He did that to me time after time after time. So in my first area, I was serving in Fullerton and I had the opportunity to work with a recent convert, Jeremy, and his girlfriend was coming in for the summer and uh, he had found some members in the in the ward who were willing to house her for a couple weeks at a time. She kind of skipped around, but as as she was living with the members, we got to teach her, and she got to see firsthand what it was like to live um, amongst Mormons, to to be with them, to pray with them over meals and at night, and to to experience the spirit in in an LDS household. And we had a lot of opportunities to teach her with members about the gospel and I just remember on our first lesson with her, her name was Michelle, she committed to baptism. She was like, yeah, I'm ready for this. This sounds right. Jeremy told me a, a bit about it. So this is kind of a review. And I remember thinking, wow, like you're actually, you, really? Are you sure? And um, that happened to me a couple more times on my mission where after the first lesson, uh, they said yes. They said, "Yeah, I I agree with this. I want to be baptized." And and that every time that happened, it just confirmed to me again that this this is um, really sacred work that we're doing, and the Spirit is with us. Another example of just how um, people really are prepared, and Heavenly Father will place these people into your path specifically because you have something to share with them. It's the gospel. And you're going to be friends with these people for a long time. You're always going to remember them. And um, Michelle and Jeremy, later on, they got married in the Newport Beach Temple. And I was allowed to go and witness their sealing. And that was a very, very sacred, very special experience for me to see my someone that I had helped um, teach and encourage and learn um, go to the temple and make these covenants. Just a really awesome, awesome experience. Not everybody gets that experience, but you have the experience to, to strengthen your testimony, to strengthen your faith by sharing that with others, whether they accept it or not. And so I love to share that story because I love Michelle and Jeremy. I, I love what they taught me and what they allowed me to share with them. And then I remember how I felt when I taught them, how the spirit was so strong with them and with, with us as missionaries.